Hey guys, it's Renzi Game Kim. Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing another YouTube Tips and Tricks video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about collaborations and YouTube groups slash communities. Now, that doesn't specifically mean community channels, but I'm going to get more into depth in that later on in the video. So, starting on this video, we're going to be talking about collaborations, how to find them, and where people commonly go wrong with them. Now, one of the biggest tips I can give you about collaborations is don't ask someone who has a lot of subs about collaborations, it, it's it, it's not going to happen. They're not going to be like, yo, let's do a collaboration. Unless you have like a map specifically built for them or something like that, they, they, they get a benefit or they get a video out of it or something like that. Um, there's no point asking them because you need to do it with someone who's a similar size as you. So you're both getting um, the same benefit out of it. So you want to do it with someone who's a similar size to your channel. Now, another thing, that you want to do is this is something that you'd be surprised a lot of people don't do i think it's ridiculous that a lot of people don't do this is they make a video together and then don't leave each other's links in the description now this makes no sense to me like what is the point of doing a collaboration if you're not gonna leave a link in each other's channels to each other's channels in the video because most people can't bother going and searching up that person's name but if their link's in the description they're a lot more likely to just go and click the link and subscribe so while i do think that collaborations are an amazing way to gain subscribers you need to follow those two rules and do it right so the third thing i will mention is how to find collaborations because i did mention collaborations in an old youtube tips and tricks video back on my old series well it wasn't really series it was just kind of a random video about how to gain subscribers um is how to find them now you want to use social media message people on twitter send tweets out to them or something like that or just ask people in the comment section down below uh down below in not my comment section other people's comment section um so for example go on someone's channel if you see someone who's a similar size as you like their content you want to make a collab with them just ask them in the comment section and more times than not they'll be like yo that's cool because it both benefits both of you so if you follow those tips then you'll be pretty successful in that area now Moving on from the collaborations, obviously the other thing I said I'd talk about in this video is YouTube communities slash of clans and stuff. Now, first of all, I'm going to be explaining when and why these don't work and when they can work and why they work. So, some of you who've been around here for a really long time, probably back at around 300, 400 subs, uh, which wasn't really that long ago now I think about it, uh, might remember the legit crew, uh, which was me, Rapids, and legit obviously with Spangbab. Now the reason why that Pacific instance didn't work was because well two of them were in America, Canada, stuff like that and it, it was organized over YouTube we'd never really recorded together, made videos together, or even played together on PSN before which is why that ended up as a failure. Obviously I'm still friends and speak to on quite a regular basis legit and rapids but as an actual YouTube community thing, that didn't work. Same with the Diamond Hunters. Some of you might have heard of them. They were a really small one. They were kind of like with people with a couple of hundred subs. Uh, Rebo Ebo currently doesn't have a channel anymore. Orzix, uh, Rune Lubtastic, and a few others whose names I don't want to say in case I, they weren't in it. Um, the reason why that didn't work, again, they organized it over YouTube. Orzix put a video out and kind of organized it, I do believe. Um, so, obviously, you might be thinking, well, if it doesn't work through doing it with other YouTubers that you know, and you've sort of randomly met off the internet, then, you know, why doesn't that work? Because there's no chemistry, you don't know how each other, we, you all record, you don't know how you all, there's, there's nothing there, you're just randomly trying to form something. If you are going to do a YouTube community, and I do believe it can be really successful having a YouTube recording group, for example, I record with Hackman loads, me and Hackman make tons of videos together, uh, he only has 70 or 80 subs, you should go and subscribe to him, I'm probably going to forget to leave the link in the description, Hackman XD, go and subscribe, uh, I'm shouting right in the middle of this video for some reason, uh, you know, we make videos together all the time, and it's because we, off camera, you know, we go on PS4, we play COD, Minecraft and stuff together, and we sort of, we know each other, we're, we're like, we, we know how we record together, we know how we before we even recorded together, basically, we knew what we do, and we had that sort of chemistry when it comes to recording and like knowing what we're doing, knowing how we sort of feed off of each other during a recording. You don't get that when you randomly make a group. So if you have other people who do YouTube that you go on PS4 and stuff, 
no matter what the size, I do recommend it. It will improve your videos if you do that. Um, obviously, I love having Hatman in my videos because, you know, it, it makes it more interesting for certain videos like Frenzy Craft and stuff. Um, so that's kind of, that's the way you want to do it. You want to do it off of a sort of friendship or YouTube friendship that was already there, not trying to build a new one. So, I do hope this sort of helped you out. I know the end was a bit of a ramble, but, uh, you know, I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And so, yeah, if you do want to leave any topics in the comment section, then go ahead. Uh, I will be sure to cover them. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.